Hi guys and welcome back to Wade's Workshop. So let's get on and uh, do this Mark II power feed for the Walco uh, lathe. Um, I'll put in a little clip here from last week just to show what it all looked like before with a with a noisy horrible motor and then we'll make a start on uh, getting some of these bits together to get this improved and uh, quietened down. Anyway cheers guys. So the next project remove this lot off the end of here and fit a step about the drive. Um, Similar system, um, we're going to put that pulley on the end of there. We may modify this uh, original pulley with a V-groove in and put the handle in the end of the pulley here. I think that might be the way forward, might be the way I go. Um, so we'll probably end up boring this out, making it fit onto this piece so that we've got an adapter, that sort of idea. Yeah, why not? So we already started. I stripped down everything and I've got the original hand wheel with the, the, the V-belt ran in. Um, but I got a bit ahead of myself, I didn't show you. Basically I'm going to put a register on here so that that will sit on. And I'm going to turn it back to the original size back there somewhere. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get it done. Just chopping the diameter down. To about the bottom of the V-groove. I'm getting covered in swarp. All coming straight towards me here. Let's chuck it in the back. I have got my pliers at hand. Almost down to the root of that V. Okay, let's have all that out of there before we get big wraparounds. Uh, let's have a look. So I'm making this up as I go along, usual story. Um, you know what? A couple of mil smaller than that, probably be where I want to be. Hold it off there, Ooh, yucky. Deary me, come on out you can. Right, let's have a look, size wise. I think I'll go with that, or thereabouts, so we'll do a finishing cut on it. So let's clean up this shoulder, I'll just set a zero there. Let's clean up this shoulder. Back to a square face. Have a nice diameter on here. Where was I? That's my zero. Let's go 0.1 cut. 0.2 off the diameter. come back out and I'm going to face the length of this shoulder to a known size from that back so worry what are we are on at the moment nine and a half let's go yeah I think we'll finish it at nine mil okay the knocking noise is the old bolt hole where the handle went. Not worried about that. Let's go. 
9.1 ish. There's your bolt hole. Okay. And then a finishing cut on the 9mm mark. There. Just face that off. Okay. Uh, right couple of jumpers on there. Oh. I did reset the height of these tools when I uh, when I modified the tool post. So I put this one in the other way around, but I'm just gonna turn it back. Okay. So we'll have a chamfer down here on the bottom. That's it, about one mil. And just a break edge on here. Okay. I think I'm gonna call that part done. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, it's really awkward to hold. I'll probably clamp this on the mill table and uh, do I, do I, do I? Do I try and hold this by the OD and see how well that centre runs? It's tricky, isn't it? Um, but basically I'm gonna put a counter bore in here, um, nine mil deep, no, 8.9 deep by this diameter, whatever this diameter is, it doesn't matter a hoot. Um, so that that'll sit over there and be located and then we'll have three holes through what's left um, to bolt it on, to bolt this piece onto this piece. We'll have to remember that hole. That could uh, come and bite us on the butt a bit later. So I've changed plan already. Been looking at it and that nine mil step is too deep. I'm gonna drop it back to probably six. So I'm gonna take three mil off there. Don't mind if I have a little undercut in there. Okay. Right. So, I think that's a burr that's wobbling around in the middle there. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, we're back to a 6mm recess now. So, I've turned the little mandrel. 10mm uh, diameter. It's a good fit. In fact... Good fit on that pulley. I haven't put any spaces in that. Let's just give it a spin up. It's running brilliantly. Okay, happy days. So I'm going to use the two grub screws that come with the pulleys and actually fit the pulley onto the mandrel with two grub screws and then I can bore this out to the correct diameter, six mil back, without interfering with the grub screws. This is part of the reason why I dropped this shoulder back to six mil. Otherwise I'd be turning into the grub screws that hold it all together. So, um, yeah, that explained that one. So that's the two uh, grub screws in. Not the most secure setup, but I'm only going to be tickling the six mil counter bore out of this. So, um, yeah, boring bar, I suppose. Right, okay, that's that bit done. So I've just put the arbor, shall we call it, up in the vise, and I've lined up that existing bolt hole where the, uh, the handle, let me just grab the handle, that's where the old handle used to go, okay. Um, so that's gonna come back and haunt me if I don't rule it out of the equation now. So I, what I'm gonna do is I've decided on M5s, which is what that thread is, to bolt 
this part onto this part. So what I've done is lined up a zero by putting a 10 mil as you can see there's a 10 mil spot in drilling there and that just lines up beautifully in there and that's my zero zero point so I'm going to take that back off again and just pick up I did rotate it correctly to be in line when I put it in the vise and I'm just going to step across and find the middle of that hole so uh, I'm going to change to the chuck now set a zero zero in fact I haven't done that yet, now I have. Um, I'm going to put the chuck up, I'm going to put the tap and drill for M5 in the, um, in the chuck, and I'm just going to pick up where that hole is for now. So I've stepped across it X, and that hole, oddly, I must have just drilled it wherever, 19.6 mil I've stepped across. So what I'm going to do, is just put that on, and I think I can just about hold that. How fast is that going? Yeah, that should be okay. Right, I'm going to avoid these two holes. So let's go smack in the middle of them. Okay. Right, I'm just going to mark that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to step across the other way by the same amount. So 19.6 the other way. I think two bolts should do this. Do I need to set the drill that? Let's just. Now it's picked up okay. So that's the tapping drill for the M5. I'm going to drill this one and tap it. Okay. So I have to go and dig out my M5 tap now. So how brave am I feeling today? Let's do it under power. Other way. I haven't got the chuck that tight so if there was any binding at all it would have just slipped in the chuck but uh, we're only going through what 10 mil there and it is only aluminium okay so that's uh, that hole tapped so that's the two holes in there done um, right I think what I'm going to do now is step off the part I've got all my datums 19.6 left and right let me just write that down so I don't forget so 19.6 I'm gonna come over here somewhere out the way onto the table off the uh, off device and I'm just gonna drill that initial hole out with a clearance drill so I've just put the uh, tap in drill through because I had that one at hand and now 5.2 Um, okay, that's a 5.2. You might think it's a bit excessive, but that's the clearance for the pilot on my little um, count, kind of boring bits that I've got for metric uh, bolts. And it takes a 5.2 pilot, and I've written on the box 0.2. Um, so yeah, I'd normally use 5.1 as a 5mm clearance, but yeah, in this case, 5.2, that's fine. So that's the first one done. Um, don't think that's going to fit in that chuck. Uh, no, it's not. So not to worry. Um, might just change that collar, put that in and counterball that now. What I can do, that's going to be stuck through enough in there. So I could bolt that back on. Okay. Let's do that. I think I just need to deburr that underside. Just get a larger drill bit for that. Find something maybe about uh, seven mil. Just deburr that hole. Okay. So let's go back to the vise. 
So back up to the vise. Make sure we got no muck in there. In fact, just deburr that where I've tapped it. Okay. Put that back on. And we'll just drop a bolt in there. Key. Is that the one? It is indeed. I'm just going to clamp that down. Okay, that's that in. Back up ways. What shall I put in? Yeah, go on, we'll have a tapping drill. I just want to come back up to here to an offset of 19.6 and mark the second hole and then they'll do the same again. So back on my datum with a 19.6 out offset. So that drill bit's directly above the tap hole we did just a moment ago. And I'm just going to mark that one. So while I'm at it, I want to put a tapped hole in here to put the handle back on. So if I go to zero, let's have a look, shall we? I'm going to go to zero. Because we do want to have a handle on it. So that's zero, that's the centre mark. And I think if I go 19.6 this way, let's just have a quick look, see what the handle's going to look like. Should be good, because it's that's how far offset it was last time. So... Yeah, that'll work. So we're going to put a tap hole in here. 19.6, so I think I'll just leave it there. Okay, so that's all the three low holes located in this part. Um, yeah, we can take it back off again now. Happy days. <laughs> All right. So uh, we need to drill those two holes now. So I just pop the two bolts in just to make sure that they all line up. Everything's happy and hunky dory. So I'll just pop that one out. <laughs> That's it. That should line up in there. It does. Um, right. I can't remember how deep I need to go, so if I just measure the thickness of the head, 4.8, so we'll go 5 mil deep. So let's just touch on the surface, set a zero on the quill. Just have a little bit of WD. And five mil. There we go. So I'm going to pop that bolt back in there. Um, yeah, let's just come completely out of the way. Let me just move the camera for a second. So as you can see, I put that bolt in there, so it's now clamped back down. And we shall counterball this one. Same depth. 5 mil. Three. And that's five. Okay, so that's those two done. Um, I've already tapped the rear hole off camera before I put it back on again, the part. So I think I need a little chamfer on these holes now. So what have we got? Yeah, oh, it might even fit in that collar. 
Let's have a try. Will it? <laughs> it will. Just happened to be an 8 mil shank on the counter ball and an 8 mil shank on this uh, counter sink. This is just a little. There we go. That's that one done. <coughs> we'll take the bolt out the other one and we'll do that one as well. Well, there it is. Handle back on. Um, yeah, that's the first part done. I just skimmed the length of those bolts uh, to just below surface. So, uh, we're done. So, moving on, we got to look at mounting the stepper motor with its pulley and some sort of adjustment to be able to take the belt on and off. Well, I think that should be about enough for this one, guys. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing and we will see you all very soon. Cheers now.